Anybody who says that Afona Pilma are boring are freaking crazy. Do not listen to those elitist hobby scum. Uh, uh. You know what we have not done in a while? An unboxing. Specifically a Tom Patterson unboxing. So this is going to be really fun because I don't think I've kept any of these species before. So that means they are all going to be kind of new to me. But there is a theme today. A phonopelma. That's right. All of these spiders are supposed to be a phonopelma. And a phonopelma happens to be one of my favorite genus. I know a lot of people are like, the boring brown a phonopelma. Listen, the a phonopelma genus is huge. And they have everything from boring brown to some very vivid, cool colors, okay? And they have everything from very sweet, docile Afonopilma to very spicy little guys. And in this, I think we're gonna have a mix of all of those different colors, different temperaments. But I have no experience with any of these species. Oh, yeah, there's dirt under my nails. That's like the accessory. Like, hey, I keep animals. I dig in dirt all day and made enclosures. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, we got a goodie bag. Look at all these little isopod stickers. I've been making fun of him about this because he used to call isopods boring and was like bragging that he never owned them and now he owns a whole bunch of them and he's making little stickers. So that's cute. This looks like a temporary tattoo. Hardcore arachnids. Of course, check them out. This video is not sponsored by the way. Anyway, let's get into this. We have the New York newspaper aesthetic, you know. This always feels like Christmas. What do we have? A Phonopilma Moderatum. Finally, 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 I have wanted one of these forever. And he told me that these are about two inches. So this is not gonna be a teeny tiny sling that's gonna take like forever and ever and ever to reach a couple inches. A Phonopilma Gabelli also should be around two inches. These are exactly what I wanted. This is what sparked the entire unboxing. He posted this picture and I was like, this is a beautiful A Phonopilma. Now there is a catch. It might actually not be in a phonopilma. It might get reclassified to this genus, but as it stands, it's still in a phonopilma and they are called a phonopilma crinarufum, the Costa Rican blue front tarantula. So these are absolutely beautiful. In the picture, it looks like they have very bright blue chalice array, which is the area their fangs are attached to. And it reminded me a lot of an Ephibobus blue fang, which I've had before. This is probably gonna be a lot less spicy than that. And I was told these are about a solid inch. Now these I did not order, but I see he has comfortably packed them what is this? This is just a little baby. And it is in a Phonopilma sagararo. I'm not sure what that is. I've never heard of it. And this one, a Phonopilma moderna? Madura. Oh my gosh, this sounds very familiar. It's right here. You see it's moving and it arrived great. Okay, so I just put together two teeny tiny little sling cribs. Very simple setups for these two guys. So let's go ahead and rehouse this one first. I love how he packed these. I can just steal this moss right here, pop that in for some extra coverage. We have a uh, little feet visible, but I don't think we're ready to, quite ready to come out yet. Oh, okay. And now you have so much more space to dig a hole. One down, and I am gonna have to remember to label these or I will never know what I have. So we'll do this a Phonopilma Sagurero. This one's facing up, so hopefully it won't be as difficult. Tiny Afono Pelma. There you are. Now let's move on to these, or should we do the bigger ones first? Let's do the bigger ones first, because these are like the ones I'm most excited about. I already made enclosures for them, so these are all just going to be tarantula cribs, sliders. These are all older models, but they are still in great shape, despite being banged around and used for years. So this is the first enclosure that I put together. I really like how this came out. I did lots of moss, a hide, lots of substrate. I don't know how spicy these are, but I feel like they're gonna be a little bit more spicy than other species. Ooh, I can already see some feet in here. Ooh, we are already like coming out. Oh, wow, this is an amazing size. Oh my goodness, look at her. I love her. Wow, I think this enclosure is like perfect too. I'm so excited about this one. Oh yeah, 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 we are definitely uh, very quick when we want to be. 
So let's be very careful. Look at her, she is gorgeous. Oh my God, in such a good size. He was not kidding. It's hard to find slings that are already showing like adult colors or like a good size and already like this grown. Especially like a slower growing genus, like a Phonopilma, finding them this size, not the easiest task. This is another medium tarantula crib slider. I did do a live plant for this one just to see how it works out. A Phonopilma gibelli. So this one should be around the same size, I'm told. Anybody who says that a Phonopilma are boring are freaking crazy. Do not listen to those elitist hobby scum. Uh, uh. Shut up. Let us enjoy our brown spiders. Hi, my goodness, you are adorable. Wow. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. What the heck? Like, these are some of the prettiest slings I've seen. Like, look at that beautiful shade of brown. So, I don't think we're too bulky, but we are very cautious. Wow. Like, but look how calm, like a very calm Aphonopilma. So, I'm guessing the Gabellis are a little bit more calm. I'm in love though, like I absolutely love this. Oh, we are stubborn. This is how my A annex is anytime I pick her up. She's always like, I do not want to move. Look, yep. There you go. Oh, she's so beautiful. I am so excited about this. I know, I know, whatever. Tom's rolling his eyes right now. Fun fact, did you know one of my first interactions with Tom Patterson ever? I said that in a phono Pilma Hensi was one of my dream spiders and he made fun of me and I literally cried about it. And that was one of our first interactions. And then he told me how a phono Pilma are boring and brown. Blech. Shut up, Tom. Look how cool and not boring the spider is. This is definitely not gonna be a pet rock. It's totally gonna be a pet rock. I love her, and this enclosure looks really, really good. I think she's really gonna enjoy it here, so. You leave my boring brown spiders alone. Look at that, just calmly walking. Yep, so this is a very calm Aphonopilma, whereas the Moderatum, you saw that speed. Let's go, we just got these two left. Some small sliders, this is a very old model. But still great, look at that, not even warped at all, nothing. I mean, this is this is great, so. Also, I really love how this moss looks in this enclosure. Like, look at that, that is some nice moss, very pillowy. So yeah, hopefully we like it. Oh, you never know what you're gonna get with an Aphonopilma, you really don't, so. Are we gonna shoot out of here? Are we gonna be calm? By the way, I am like using my fingers and stuff, like touching all these. These are a Phonopilma, okay? They're not very venomous at all. Not something you wanna get bit by, but you're really unlikely to get bit by them. You could, and it could still hurt and suck and whatever, but it's not like I'm worried. Like, they're not a more defensive species. If it was a more defensive species, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. This is gonna be the one that probably ends up biting me after that speech. Okay. Hi. Okay. Definitely a bolty little sling. So I'm trying not, I don't have a catch cup with me. Can we see any blue yet? Doesn't look like we have any shiny blue yet, but he was right. These are about a solid inch. So definitely going to grow and probably we'll start getting those adult colors soon. Here you go. You went out. Okay. Hey, there we go. This is great. I'm sad we only have one more today. Okay. Here's another small tarantula crib slider. I really like this. I got these like little fake plants from Michael's and yeah, I had fun making these enclosures today too. Today's just been a very nice chill, put enclosures together on a box kind of day. Are you bald? Oh, this one's bald. You're bald, what happened? What did Tom do to you? You wanna go in your new enclosure? There you go. You're okay. Go in. <laughs> I love when they do like 
the dead weight thing. This is one of the situations where I would pinch grab if it was an adult, but obviously you can't pinch grab a sling this small. Look, look down, there you go. And we are done, and everybody arrived alive and well, and even better than I expected. I love the extra little Afona Pomas he included. Everything's great, so thank you so much, Tom. It's been too long since we've done an unboxing, and I enjoyed this one. Hopefully, you guys did it too. If you're looking for any Afona Poma or any cool spiders, rare species, um, true spiders, tarantulas, other inverts, Tom has it all. So go check out his website, Hardcore Arachnids. He's a great friend and a very reliable and trustworthy vendor. However, you don't ever tell him that because... Blah. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram to use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast, merch, plushies, sometimes enclosures. All of it's linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.